Oh, welcome back. I couldn't find his name. The hot cow. Oh, hi, welcome. Okay. Um, this is part two of the Moscow Idaho four case reading. Um, I already stopped the reading because it was long, and I wanted to check what the hot cowboy's name was. That was at the Idaho four house. Three weeks later, just walked right in. The only person that saw him happened to be a TV news station that was parked out front. Um, and he had a tattoo. The um, Drip Drop does, or Crime Circus does an awesome video on this. And I'll just link it in the de in the description so you can look at it. What I was looking for was that kid's name. Um, Drip Drop also did all of the research to see about um, how the, I'll let you do, just watch it. It's awesome. But what I wanted to see was, so if this cult of Odin, which I really honestly don't really care what you believe in or worship, like that's really not, I'm not, I'm not judging. I don't care. What I wanted to know though was, was that hot kid, the cowboy, does he know that Dylan and her little boyfriend were playing both sides of the fence? Well, the Queen of Swords just jumped. The Emperor in reverse. The Hermit, that's Dimitri. Demetrius is what they call him on TV. Ten of Swords, the Hanged Man. Oh boy, guys, no. Well. And the Page of Swords, this is Dylan. <laughs> nope, they don't know. No one knows, but they do now. So these are, these cards just like jumped out. And there are a lot of the same cards that we've been getting for Dylan and Quinn. Funny. Things. This might not go very well for these two. Let's just say that. <sighs> All right, what I'm looking at here. Well, the Queen of Swords, that's our girl, Dylan who, no facts here, do your own research. But on the last reading, Dylan was the actual Queen of Swords. That's really gross. All of this is gross, but it was like so much rage. Like, I'm in her energy right now, first of all, it's dark AF. Kind of like these two cards are. Dylan, how are you sleeping? You're not. Dimitri is, you know, I think, I don't know. The cow, I don't know. I don't know who knows, but this is just reconfirming. You made a contract and it went south. And <clears throat> Fear Daddy Warbucks is the US government. It's all gone. And you might have got the memo that the US government is very good at making people disappear. And well, the government, this emperor knows. And I'm just going to put the emperor up here because that's the government to me. <sighs> and they're not happy with you. You made a big mess. And things got, I don't know what you, I don't know what you were thinking. You were not thinking. 
in your energy, what I feel is just like chaos. It's like, I feel really bad for you. There's no love here. So there's, I think you're going to get hung out to dry. I don't know who's going to do it. But isn't it funny that you were the only witness? Like, of course you were. That's so peculiar. Hmm. So, our boyfriend... Hello, cowboy, if you're watching, <laughs> you're hot. Um, your boyfriend hasn't gotten the memo yet, but the emperor has. And the emperor is not very happy. The cowboy is fine. He's still making money. He's like sunshine. Everything's good for him. Let's figure out what the cowboys were. So go watch Drip Drop. To understand what I'm talking about right now, you have, you have to just go watch Drip Drop's research video. He's a great kid. Um, I will link it below. So. That is why Dimitri was reporting to the emperor and the hierophant. Because she's two-faced. So she's calling the shots with Quinn and his exporting business. And she's working for the government. So Dylan, where is this? Is the hierophant. And oh, I can't wait till the hot cowboy figures out. All right, so so Let's see what the hot cowboy was doing at the house three weeks later. Basically, anyone could just walk right into the house if they wanted. It was like... Okay. So I'm going to write another, like, tree down. Because the cowboy... Dylan's the executioner and the Hierophant and the Emperor. That's why it's been so confusing because she's working both sides of this fence and she happened to be the only witness. Like, you don't even have to like true crime. If she was a dude and this was like any other domestic call, which it technically would have been, they would look right at her or if, I mean, whatever. Do you see what I mean? Like, obviously. Like, the husband's always the first to be the suspect. And they work in, they go start inside and work out. Well, Dylan thought she was being so smart by being the only witness to a murder, like, to an execution. I don't know what words we can use on here, but she was the executioner. So... She was working both sides of this, and our hot cowboy does not know that. The government knows that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a T, and we're going to have one each side. Is So one side's going to be the hot cowboy. We'll just call him the hot cowboy. Do your own research. Um, I probably don't believe in the same stuff he does, but teach their own. Um, and we're going to have the government. Okay? So... We have Dylan as the executioner and the Hierophant and the Emperor because she was work she was pulling all these strings from both sides. Okay, so government one for Dylan because D Y L Dylan. The government knows. The hot cowboy zero because he doesn't know yet. Um so now, 
And we know, okay, government too, because we also know from the last reading or two readings ago that the government is choking Idaho. <sighs> that doesn't happen. The, our hot cowboy. I haven't gotten to that part yet. We haven't even covered that. So I'm just going to give the government one again because they we got that like last week or two weeks ago that they're cutting off Idaho. So now, what was the hot cowboy doing? I'm going to ask the cards. Clear the energy. What was the hot cowboy doing at the Idaho Four House three weeks later? <laughs> he was working. He got paid. Whoa. Oh. Did Dylan pay him? <sighs> All right, so the hot cowboy was at the house three weeks later because he got paid. Let's just ask if Dylan paid him. I'm just gonna do upright yes, reversals no. I'm going to pull them from that. Yes. 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 Yes, Dylan. Holy shit. So Dylan paid the cowboy, the hot cowboy. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm almost speechless. I'll leave these for a minute. Okay. Let's just say that El Diablo showed up. El Diablo is a Capricorn. He likes cold things. He also um, might be our hot cowboy. Actually, or it could be Dylan's deal with the devil because she signed a contract with the devil. These are the exact same cards that we got for Quinn the first round. Well, it's not exactly, but. He got temperance, one foot in, one foot out. Oh no, my phone. My phone's about to die. Shoot, I'll go get a charger. Okay, I just had to get a charger. So, we're back. Um, the question that we asked was if Dylan... Oh, she's so dumb. Okay, so what we asked was if the cowboy, the hot cowboy, knew that Dylan was playing both sides of the fence and he didn't know. The, let's just call the government Daddy Warbucks because I think that's, well, if you're going against the force of the U.S. government, it doesn't usually end very well. So the hot cowboy was at, um, is it 12, 22, 12, 11? What's the house number? I should probably memorize that too. Eleven twenty-two, King Road. The hot cowboy and his buddies were at eleven twenty-two King Road three weeks later because they got paid by the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Dylan paid them. Um, to 
go get what, well, we should probably figure out what they got. Um, the hot cowboy also, she made a deal with the devil. She has one foot in and one foot out. She loves, um, what is this like? Confirmation from others. She like her, because she can't love herself. She needs reassurance from others. Uh, she made a contract with the El Diablo. And we love him because he's a Capricorn and he's the shadow side of us. And all that shadow means is there's no light. Well, there's no light here for Miss Dylan. Somehow she got the Ten of Cups. This could be a happy home, happy family. They're not going to be that happy when they figure out that you were the only witness to the murder that you were the queen of wands, executioner, whatever you want to call it. I can't believe more people haven't put that together. I can't believe I didn't put that together. This would be so sus if it was a, like a domestic. Everyone would. So. Okay, so that answers that. Dylan, you should probably start doing some affirmations like, I am worthy, I'm loved. I don't even want to go into your daddy issues. You have some kind of issues, and I don't even know if daddy, you have something. I'm t I don't know what to tell you, Dylan. You did not make smart decisions, and this is gonna be a long karmic road. All right, what else do we need to know, Mr. Ethan? I don't, I can feel Ethan the most right now. I've been feeling him all afternoon height um, because getting all of this information out is very important, obviously. Um, I don't have any other questions, I don't think, to wrap it up. The hot cowboy doesn't know that Dylan's playing both sides of the fence. Dylan paid them to go there. Oh, I guess what we could do is figure out what they got. Right now. What do I want to know the most? Oh, this is why all that women, all the witness protection rumors were going around. I don't know. Dylan, her name is Louise Hay. You should probably grab a YouTube or video or whatever you do. Start practicing some self-love. I also want to, I guess what we can ask is if Dylan's responsible for all the other accidents in Moscow. You know, it really does actually make sense that it was Dylan. Other than the fact she's the only witness. No shit. Um, but for a female to go into houses and be sketchy and cowardly in the middle of the night. She's tiny too. It's a long karma road for you, girly. I'm disappointed in you. Here 
you were again. Stealing lives in the middle of the night. Thief. Thief of lives. Thief of futures. Thief of happiness. Girl, you've got to start loving yourself. It might be a little late now, but... No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. Does that mean we're gonna get justice? Like, in this lifetime? This dimension? Ah, Miss Dylan. Here's your contract in reverse. Sorry. You made a deal with the devil. And he always comes to collect. Mic drop. <laughs> I have goosebumps. What did the cowboys, what did Dylan pay the cowboys to go get? I wonder if the cowboys know Dylan was the one that paid them. If you're an informant, you have the protection of the US government because you are working for them. Do you have the resources of the US government financially? Like, I'm not seeing a ton of money on any of these cards. Not at all. I haven't seen any money really. Because, but we do know that they were moving people and party favors and that equals money. She definitely has a what is um what are those phones you buy at Walmart? Track phones they're called or something. She definitely has one of those. Do they let's see before we figure out what they got for her, do they know that she paid them? Like is she still the kingpin? Is the king I'm disappointed in you, Miss Dylan. You're only 22 years old, and you picked up more karma for the most lifetimes. I should see what your soul contract was. Probably not this. Does the hot cowboy know that Dylan's the one paying him? That paid him. Stu upright, yes, reversals no. Hi, hottie pa to Adi. Does a hot cowboy know that Dylan paid him? I'm so disappointed in you. Yes. Guys. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So yeah, they know. They knew Dylan was paying them. What did she get? What did she need so badly? So yeah, they know. Hot cowboy. She, she was probably the boss and I'm not kidding. I almost honestly feel like it's the knife itself. I feel like that kid was holding the knife. Which if you're the only witness and the only surviving roommate and the executioner, that wouldn't be that hard to just leave it there. You would have to go anywhere and clean up. Where's the sheath? 
with the DNA on it. Has anyone actually seen that? Or is that the sketchy cheap police? So Dylan's working both sides of this, which means the chief was coincidentally out of town. I've already debunked that. That's in the reading before this. The Cowboys knew that Dylan paid them to go in and get. I feel like it's the actual knife. I don't even know what kind of knife it was. Did Dylan pay them to go get the knife? The actual murder weapon? I'm gonna be so happy. Oh, I just saw an orb. <laughs> I hate them. <sighs> Did Dylan pay them to go get the murder weapon? Yep, she did. Now, what a joke. She did, that's what that kid was holding, the actual murder weapon. And it's taken a trip. So what I'm looking at here, the tower. Some people think this is an unexpected fun change. And I always just think of 9-11, like there's nothing fun about towers falling. Then we have the three of wands. This is like, they're planning a trip, getting away. They're holding tight. This is the hangman. They're holding tight, waiting for more instructions. And it's going on a trip. I was getting that it was in the water before it's in the last reading. <sighs> what a joke. And whoever disposed of it got paid too. Our little page of pentacles. So in conclusion, the Cowboys, the hot cowboy, knew that Dylan was paying them. She signed a contract with the devil. The devil's the shadow. I don't know. Do with that what you will. And what she paid for was for them to go and get the actual knife that she... As the only survive, one of the only surviving witness, witnesses and roommates, who's a knife expert. This is unbelievable. And then the knife took a little trip. It's going away. First, they didn't know what to do with it. It was hanging around. And then it crossed a body of water. And then they got paid. I don't have anything to say about it. Dylan, you, you're not getting any sleep at night. And your pentacles are drying up. Are you going to snitch on yourself? 
that would be the honorable thing to do, but I've been making a lot of honorable decisions. The higher fins in reverse. The government's turning their back on you too. It's be a lonely life. Daddy issues. You had to put out other people's light so they could feel just like you. I bet you there are a ton of lakes in Idaho. Is there any lake like that Dylan goes to? Could be a river. It's definitely underwater. Why are we, so what's Cobra have to do with any of this? Dylan, you were stuck. Temperance. Ace of Swords. You need outside. Guys, I've shuffled these cards 400 times and we're hitting the exact same cards. Because you don't love yourself, you have to get reassurance from the outside world. Because you don't love yourself, you... Well, and you're a traitor. I don't know who you're trading, but you betrayed your organization and you betrayed the US government. So you're in a bad spot because snitches get stitches. And I don't see any love. It's tough, huh? I don't see any money. I don't know whose money you're laundering, but I don't see any anything. You have no self-love, obviously. And you have to get all your validation from the outside world. So are you the one that's been like stalking other tarot readers? Hi, Dylan. I'm not happy with you. I'm sorry you didn't have any girlfriends. You didn't have any self-love. And you picked up a lot of karma. I wonder what your karmic contract was. Pretty sure it wasn't this. Oh, justice. It's you, baby. Whether it's in this dimension or not, you'll get justice. And I feel like you're not sleeping because Ethan is here to tell. This is like, I'm getting help with this. And anyone who's an empath or everyone has gifts. So it just depends if you use them or not. But the next card we got... I've already gotten this one. This is the fighting the night. And chaos and like, this is right before the sword start. This is like, could be punching. I don't really want to look into what they did to Ethan before. But TikTok has, or uh, not TikTok, Drip Drop has a video of blood outside of Zana's. It looks like a body, the, like blood of a body. Outside Santa's window. If you believe in anything, mostly of the white light, pray for that house. Put in, like if you believe in angels, put angels all around the house to keep it. It's so coincidental that the chief works for Dylan too. And the only surviving witness is our executioner. And she does not have any self-love. Even the lovers is in reverse, honey. It's not, this is not a good look for you. Knight of Wands, you're paying people to run in and create chaos. Wands are also fire. I don't know when your birthday is and doesn't really matter because your lover's in reverse. Oh!
you know what the U.S. government, the higher fence should do, is give you or Quinn a plea deal based on whoever turns first. Because both of you, Quinn, sorry, your hands are dirty too. And you don't have any love either. But if the government offers you guys a plea deal, whoever turns first, since you are state witnesses and federal witnesses, that's probably what they'll do. I mean, it is the U.S. government or the Hierophant. And they are at the top and they're right next to justice. My guess is they're already working on something. And if you don't know about it, you're about to find out because they're not going to. I mean, I am sure I'm not the first person who's figured out that you were working both sides. But I'm also sure that the government doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And the organization, whatever we're calling it these days, all I know is the hot cowboys involved. His belief system might be a little different than my own, but teach their own. Uh, they don't know you were playing both sides yet either. So if I was a prosecutor of the U.S. government, I would pin you against your little boyfriend and say one of you is going down for this. And I don't care who it is. But if you work with us, then it's not going to be you. And I hope they do it before Brian Koberger goes to court or goes to trial. That would be the that would be badass. So Dylan sleep well. No facts here, folks. Just a girl with some tarot cards. And I'll leave you with the higher fin justice. Love you. Good night.